Oh, I think we're live, Brent. I think we're oh, live. Snap. Let's do it. What's up, <laughs> no, man? She's doing good. So here's the deal. You're coming to town. I think this is cool because you're playing where it all began. Uh, Friday, Jacksonville, Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena. And then yeah, Saturday, man. Orlando at the Amway. And so this interview obviously covers both those markets. Big 48 I think hours. Cool. Yeah. You're coming back to where it all began over 20 years ago on the same week that you have your 20th number one song. It's uh, it, it's pretty overwhelming. Uh, to say that we are grateful and humble would definitely be an understatement. And a lot of that thanks, I mean, talking about going from the very, very beginning, thank you for being there from day one, you know, both stations, both cities. Um, it's uh, It feels good though, you know what I mean? Like there, I think we've learned over the years um, to, these milestones that happen take a moment and reflect on it and say good job but you know obviously we're always climbing mountains we're always trying to find a bigger mountain but uh it's nothing that we take for granted um and a lot of it has to do if ultimately all of it has to do with the audience you know you've heard me say it before a hundred times man in this band we have one boss it just happens to be everybody in the audience yeah so it's really about the fans i mean they made all this happen 20 number ones, more number one songs than any rock band in history. So, yeah, you guys have some rabid fans. Yeah, but I mean, I, I want to be really honest about something, though, too. Um, you know, when I go back to the very, very beginning of this band, you know, our debut album, Leave a Whisper, was released on May 27th. Uh, you know, this year, May 27th, will be the 20 year anniversary of that. And, um, you know, when, when I think about the cities that have been there from day one, um, you know, it is an honor on a lot of levels, man, that the estate of this band uh, started in Florida, in Jacksonville, and we just wanted to represent and just make everybody proud, man. That's really what it came down to. Well, we're excited about this homecoming, this Revolutions live tour. You guys have a whole new stage, new lighting, sound, visual screens. Talk a little bit about that so people get excited. So a lot of that was uh, Zach Myers, to be honest with you. Um, Zach and a gentleman by the name of Mitch Schillinger, he and I, um, all three of us actually, um, we started working together with another gentleman named Court Lawrence on the Attention Attention album and that stage show. And then we just wanted to really kind of up the ante, if you will, with Planet Zero. So Zach always had this idea of playing in the round, but he wanted to do it in a different way. So the entire stage is ultimately a thrust that goes all the way basically to the center of the arena. So it is kind of like being in the round, but in the round, but everything we wanted to hide all the effects so like everything is under the stage. Um, it's the most massive production that we've ever put together um, with the automation that we're running, the lighting, the video, the pyrotechnics are on a totally different level, the sound quality. Um, we, we just wanted to make sure that we brought a visual experience and an incredible sonic experience to, uh, to these shows and to these you know, to these audiences, but I got to give a lot of credit to Zach. It was his, it was his design. And at first we were a little shaky on it because you're in front of the PA. So you have to kind of also, there's not a bad seat in the house. Like, I mean, the 360 degree angle of everything. And even if you're like up top, um, there's, that was the big thing, like not making, not making anybody in the audience feel like they weren't getting a good view of what was happening. Uh, but a lot of that came down to Zach, man. I mean, he had a vision for it, and uh, it's a pretty stellar. It's a pretty stellar show, I gotta say. Yeah, I've seen some of the videos, you know, YouTube and stuff, but I didn't want to spoil it for myself too much. I'm looking forward to seeing it Friday night. Yeah, and the other thing we did too with this particular tour is, you know, over the years you get kind of accustomed to a certain set list. You know, going back, I mean, we have 31 singles we've released as a band between seven albums, so. You know, the show is roughly right at two hours long. So when you're trying to like put these songs together and what have we not played in these markets? You know, we haven't been back for a minute or we have been there. 
And did we play the same song last time? You don't want to repeat that. And it can get kind of confusing after a while because you're never going to make everybody happy with the set list. But the one sure. thing about this particular set list, we kind of flipped everything on its head. Um, and uh, I think people are going to be really jazzed. That's probably been the biggest comment that we've seen early uh, from cities we've already played. The response online the following day is, if you've never seen them or you have seen them, go to this show because the set list is is on point. And that's the audience saying that. But uh, yeah, we tried to shake things up. Now, do you guys switch your set list from show to show? We have these three sections in the set list where there's audibles, where we'll right. interchange songs. But the set list is so drastically different than probably, say, like the last five years that uh, we don't necessarily have to change it up too much because uh, all the songs that you think you know where they're going to happen in the set, they're, they're not there. Like we, we throw all these really interesting curveballs at the audience. Well, looking forward to seeing you guys play hometown. You're bringing Three Days Grace. It's interesting because you guys will have so many song after song that everybody knows. Yeah. And I know for a while there, you and Three Days Grace, and they've had a ton of number ones as well. So it's interesting that you're bringing them on tour because everybody's going to know their songs as well. It's kind of cool. That was the whole approach to it, to be honest. Like we had been talking with them, you know, roughly for the last like 10, 11 years because we toured with them on the Amaryllis album 11 years ago and we brought them out and this is when um at the time adam who is an amazing guy um you know there were some things in the band and he exited and matt was brought in and i remember over a decade ago when we did that tour and just watching matt go out there um and really put his best foot forward and he just that guy is on a different level um, because there is a lot of pressure in regards to being put in that position. And now 10 years later to see the success that they continue to have with Matt. And they're just a wonderful group of guys. But I, I must say that through the through the years, we've always said we want to do another tour together, want to do another tour. We would see each other on festivals and things of that nature. But that was about it. So we just went to them specifically at the top of the year and said, um, you know, look, we would really like you guys to come out and do this tour with us. And they didn't even hesitate. They said, absolutely. And it is, man. It's, you know, you have the two bands that technically have the most, you know, number ones on the format. And it's a night of, uh, you know, it's a night of number one songs, man, yeah, because man. of the fan base, because of the audience. But it's, it's, there's such a great camaraderie. We adore those dudes. They're such good people. And we brought a brand new band with us also from Ashes to New, and they're killer. So Yeah, they've got a new song shows, we just started playing. Their new song's great. It's a great tour, man. Everybody's having a blast. I mean, we just kind of got started, but there's such a wonderful camaraderie out there right now. And, uh, and it shows on stage. Well, we're excited to have you, man. Welcome home this week. That's Thank gonna you, be nice. man. We're stoked. I appreciate we, could, you, uh, we couldn't be more excited. <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time out to talk with me today, man. It's my absolute pleasure. And again, you know, I, I got to say this to you. Thank you. Um, thank you for being there from day one and championing this band. Um, you know, our success is your success. And, and I mean that you, you literally have been there from day one and we appreciate you so much, my friend. Thank you, man. Kind words, but, uh, it, you know, it's easy to play hit songs. It's, you know, it's not just here and this is Florida. This is Shinedown country. So, uh, you know, there's always a place past 20 years. Shinedown has been playing here forever and it works. So it's good to have you back. We're stoked to be coming home, man. It's going to be a blast. We'll see you Friday night, brother. All right, my friend. Thank you. Cheers.